what's up youtube welcome back to the channel meet the teats my name is melissa and welcome back to day five of our moving to dallas series here on our channel where every day this month of may we are uploading a new video about all things dallas and you guys today um i am doing a drive through of uh, mckinney texas and uh, I just want to, first of all, thank everyone who has watched our videos these past five days, who've commented questions, who've liked, shared, all these things. I really appreciate the love and support that you guys have been showing on our, um, on our videos. And shout out to my niece yesterday, y'all. She killed it. Uh, she um, did her first like YouTube interview with me about what it's like being a kid living in uh, Texas. Um, so if you have not checked that video out, be sure to go ahead and check that video. Out. I have it linked in the description box below. But you guys, today we're talking about McKinney, Texas. Um, and a lot of people have inquired about McKinney um, because it is a really nice place to live. It's North Dallas, it's in Collin County. And um, a lot of people are attracted to McKinney, Texas because of the schools, the homes, um, the area. Um, it's a really nice place to live. Um, so we're gonna talk about it today. And uh, I'm not going to be talking the entire time of this drive through, but I'll kind of pop in and give different facts about McKinney um, throughout this video. So uh, to start off, you guys, you are now about to be seeing downtown McKinney and downtown McKinney is very small, uh, but it does have some really cool places, shops, restaurants um, and things to do in downtown McKinney. So there's like an arcade, uh, there's a comedy, um, like a comedy place to where people were comedian, where is it called? Comedy theater? Maybe it's a comedy theater. I, I think that's what it's called. A comedy theater um, is there. They have a museum down there. There's different restaurants. They have this really cool ice cream shop down there. Um, and yeah, spending time in downtown McKinney, it, it's really cool. They have this amazing bakery where my sister favorite um, apple pie <laughs> and she will literally travel the 40, 50 minutes to get to downtown McKinney to get her pie. So um, you got to check that place out. Um, I'll probably, well, I, I don't know the name of it, but if I do find out, I'll link it in the description box below. But um, so yeah, downtown McKinney, fairly small, but it's packed with plenty things to do. So now you guys are entering the historic homes of McKinney. These homes have been around for a very, very, very long time. And they are absolutely gorgeous. They're absolutely beautiful. And although they can, um, you know, remodel the inside of the home, the outside of these homes cannot be touched. <laughs> they cannot be touched uh, simply because they are historic. Um, and if you do, they have to be approved by the city. So um, these homes have been not touched in, a, in quite some time as far as um, change, lots of changes because it is a historic site, a uh, historic area um, in McKinney. Um, if you want to learn more about McKinney's history and whatnot, if you choose to live in McKinney, or even if you don't choose to live in McKinney, they have different tours that you can take uh, to tour downtown, to, to to tour the historic area areas. And they also have like McKinney walking tours where um, you can uh, tour historic buildings, you can his tour historic downtown. Um, and it's kind of a self-led PDF, like on your phone type tour. Um, that you can do if you're into history and you want to learn more about the historic downtown and the historic homes in McKinney, Texas.
now we're entering the Bonnie Wink or Wink Park. I think that's how you pronounce it. Um, and this is just one of the many parks in McKinney, Texas. Um, McKinney, Texas is home of many, many parks, you guys. And this is just one of them um, that we were so happened riding, so happened to be riding past. Now I've been to this park one time and I actually met up with a group of women from a Facebook group, uh, black girls of Collin County. And we all uh, met here and we had like this gathering, get to know each other type gathering. We played double Dutch. We had lots and lots of fun. Um, and it was just a really nice time, but in the summertime, you guys, this park is packed okay people are having picnics out here there there's games going on sports sporting events um people walking their dog obviously this is like the middle of the week so there's not a ton of people out right now um but and it had just rained not too long ago so the grass was probably wet but uh this is a beautiful park Lots of green space. There's a pond uh, for catch and release fishing. Um, and it's just it's just really nice. So you have the football field. You got a baseball diamond. You got a soccer field. You got places for the kids to play. Um, it's it and you and it has an amazing dog park. We didn't I didn't show you the dog park, y'all. But I think because this park has an amazing, huge dog park. It really attracts a lot of pet owners, a lot of dogs. So, um, so yeah. So if you guys ever come to the McKinney area, check out this park, bring you and your family, go for a nice walk. A nice trail is also a part of this park as well, um, that you can get some steps in, some exercise in and just enjoy some, some fresh Texas air. Next, we're going to drive through um, just an apartment complex. We're not going to go inside or anything like that. We're just going to drive through. Um, and then also, I'm going to show you some homes as well in McKinney, Texas. Now, I want to talk a little bit about homes, okay? Uh, because based off, um, we all know that the real estate in Texas has skyrocketed. It has gone up tremendously. So I want to share with you, like, what are um, the homes going for? Um, in the area and um, and basically like our home are there a lot of homes for sale in McKinney um, and how much would a home cost now obviously it really depends on the house the location it depends on a lot of stuff so this is just an estimate is not set in stone you want to talk to a realtor to get an exact um, amount uh, but according to realtor.com you guys um, the real estate and homes in McKinney, Texas, the median is about um, a little over uh, 350,000. OK, a little a little over 350,000 is what the homes are going for in McKinney. So it really comes down to about one hundred and forty two dollars um, per square foot of the home. So um, I'm not sure where that's at a part of like when it comes to the average in Texas and where McKinney stands. Uh, but that's what it's going for about right now. And of course, you want to talk to a, a realtor um, to get the exact numbers or whatever. But that's just a, a quick estimate. Um, and there's always lots of homes for sale in, in McKinney. Um, so if you're looking for a home in McKinney, you know, I'm sure you could find something. Just depends on your price range or whatever. Um, uh, let's see what else we got. So here's a question. How competitive is the McKinney housing market? So the McKinney housing market is very, very, very competitive. Okay. And I'm not a realtor, but I know for a fact that 
people are are bidding on these houses, okay? So a home in McKinney can receive up to seven offers, and that's just on average. And it takes about 19 days for a home to sell in McKinney, okay? That's insane. <laughs> that's insane. Um, and I'm sure like the 350000 like I'm sure that goes up, you know, um, with more people putting offers on the home. So that's also something to keep to keep in mind. Also something to keep in mind. Um, so so yeah, you guys, there are some beautiful homes in McKinney. Um, and if you want to know like how much um like homes cost or how much apartments cost, you know, uh we do work with a realtor um in one of our moving to Dallas packages that we will connect you with if you choose to um purchase one of our packages and work with us, you do get to work with, um, with our realtor and she's awesome. And, uh, she'll get you right and get you in your dream home. So this neighborhood that we're entering right now um, is a neighborhood that actually Chris and I uh, lived in for a little bit of time. We lived in this neighborhood for two years before we moved to where we are now. Um, and we loved this neighborhood. It was so nice, so quiet. Um, the neighbors were cool and we were um, renting a house um, in this neighborhood here. But um, yeah, you guys, I feel like houses in McKinney like we got a lot of house for the amount of money that we paid um and I mean just to put something in perspective we called it the big house because the house was big uh we um we lived in the house with my mom lived upstairs she lived upstairs and uh my sister and her husband was living with, with living with us for a moment and then they ended up moving out but uh, it was a five bedroom house y'all five bedrooms three three and a half baths it was a huge upstairs like a huge landing upstairs um it was really large kitchen a uh, bonus room office you know laundry room two car garage with two parking spaces outside. We literally got all of that house, y'all. All of that house, about 3,000 square foot feet for under $2,000. And that was 2018 and 2019 for about two thousand under $2,000. Not deep under $2,000, but a little under $2,000. Five bedroom house, y'all, for rent. That was an incredible deal, and that was obviously before COVID and before inflation and all of that. But um, I know a lot of people are like, the rent is high. You know, it's really hard for me to find a place in my price range. Um, that's why I would encourage you to work with a realtor because they may know places that's not on Zillow, that's not on, you know, apartmentratings.com, all these different apartment finding and home finding um, websites. They may be able to find a place for y'all that, or for you, <laughs> I said for y'all, for you, um, that may not be online, that may be in the realtor's database, you know, uh, because we found that home through a realtor and it was a steal, like it was a steal. So 
so yeah, I just thought I would show you guys the, um, you know, the neighborhood that we used to live in and tell a little bit about the house that we used to live in and how much it cost and, you know, what we got for our money. But you guys, I think that's going to conclude this drive through tour. I hope you guys enjoyed this video. I really do. Um, if you guys want to see another city that we have not shown yet, um, let us know in the comment section below. And I would love to, to do that for y'all to show y'all the city that you're interested in. Uh, so thank y'all so much for watching and we will see you guys on the next one. Bye.